GP Foundation, and Metrobank Foundation welcome you to the ceremonial kickoff of the 2022 Bags of Blessing. This program is supported by the GT Capital and Metrobank in partnership with the Philippine National Police and Caritas Philippines. To begin, please rise for the invocation and the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Let us bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today in this important event the 2022 Bags of Blessing Virtual Kickoff Ceremony. May you bestow guidance and blessings on this event so that we can enjoy and appreciate its significance in our lives and the lives of those we serve. Bless everyone present in this virtual platform today that each may be able to share what they have for your glory and honor. May the various activities related to this program be a success through your intervention. Grant good health and safety to our implementation partners and our loved ones, for our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, and to our dear Dr. George SKT. May they find love and peace in your presence. May you let your faithful servants enjoy your glory forever. We ask these in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us welcome our hosts, GT Foundation Coordinator Caleb Uy and Metrobank Foundation Officer Dang Ren. Ting Ren Hao. Happy Chinese New Year to everyone. We welcome everyone who's tuning into this morning's 2022 Bags of Blessings virtual kickoff ceremony. Caleb, a happy Chinese New Year to you. And a happy Chinese New Year to you as well, Dang. Today marks again the opportunity for us to give back to Filipino families through the Bags of Blessings program or BOB. And we kickstart the 2022 BOB implementation through this morning's event. And actually, Dan, this is the second time that we are doing this kickoff online. And similar to last year, we are once again live on Facebook by the GT Foundation and Metrobank Foundation respective Facebook pages. So please kindly follow us if you wish to capture a moment of event and share it to your personal Facebook pages. And kindly please tag us by using the hashtag, hashtag 2022 Bags of Blessing. I'm sure the program has gone beyond the annual gift giving event. For more than a decade, it has shared with the lives of the Filipino families nationwide, giving them joy as we celebrate the Chinese New Year. I agree, Dang, and the Bags of Blessing, or otherwise what we call the B.O.B., will continue to reach more lives and families this year or 2022. But before we proceed with the activity, we would like uh, to step a moment and take uh, recognize our guests who are joining us online. Our principals from our executive committee and the board of trustees, uh, the members of the T family, we welcome you all here this morning, our very own GP Foundation and Metrobank Foundation management and staff, Heads of subsidiaries of the Metrobank Group and GT Capital Holdings, our partners from Metrobank, Caritas Philippines, and the Philippine National Police. So, dang ngayon umaga, uh, a lot of people really are joining us 
today online and via this Zoom platform, of course, to celebrate with us this morning's 2022 Bags of Blessing kickoff event. So once again, we thank you all for celebrating with us today. Yes, and Caleb, I can't wait for everything to come together for today's program. Everyone ha everyone in the team have been working hard to design this year's implementation despite the face-to-face -face challenges. And we are excited to yet again bring smiles to the recipients of the bags. But before we proceed, let us first watch this video entitled Over a Decade of Giving and reminisce how the program for 10 years has raised joy and hope to Filipinos during this festive season. Kaninyong tanan nga naglihok ni ini nga nahig pahigayon ang bags of blessings. Daghan kaayong salamat. May God bless you always because of your generosity. Masaya masaya ako dahil napakalaki ng tulong ang naibigay ko sa amin. Tulad ko na na medyo wala rin. Ang spirit ng Chinese year ay hindi lang puro celebration kundi po ay pagtulong din sa kapwa to spread love and to spread the blessings na nare-receive natin every day to all walks of life. I would admit we're very privileged but also I think it's a humbling experience also to know that there are people out there that um, we can reach out to and we can impact their lives. po sa itong mga bags of blessings. Maraming maraming pong salamat talaga po sa aming mga dinong at dinang sa GD Foundation sa Metro Bank Foundation. Nalipay kay ko dako sa nadawat nako na karon nga dawat gikan sa Caritas Caritas Recibo og sa GT Foundation og ang Metro Bank Foundation o kang Father Alex Kula Jr. sa Alliance of Two Hearts. Daghan kayong salamat. Nagpapasalamat po kami dahil kami po ay napagbigyan na pumulong po at maging parte po sa aktividad ng Metro Bank po. Uh, masarap po sa pakiramdam, lalong-lalo na sa hanay namin. Kasi bilang kasama po sa PNP, masarap po sa pakiramdam yung nakakatulong po sa kapwa.
Damn, it was nice to be refreshed on how the BOB had been paying it forward to the nation as in spite, of course, for our very own program founder, the late Metro Bank Group Chairman, Dr. George E. Xiaoqian. Since 2011, the GT Foundation has been giving back to the underprivileged families, and it is our way of sharing happiness and prosperity with people who are in need. And now, of course, again, then we are on the 10th run of the Bags of Blessing. I agree with you, Caleb. Even just as we welcome the new year this 2022, we were already faced with health dangers due to the surge of COVID-19 cases. Yet, as we celebrate this year's Chinese New Year, we are reminded of the characteristics of the tiger, ones that are imbued with strength and growth. The strength for us Filipinos to conquer these tough times and grow stronger together with our loved ones as we face the ongoing pandemic. Indeed, Dang, and the program symbolizes another opportunity for us to remain hopeful and optimistic in this new normal scenario. Mahirapan, sama-sama tayong babangon at patuloy na magiging matatag. Just like how the program had withstood challenges for over a decade. That's why, at this juncture, I would like to invite the man who has been there for all 10 runs, ensuring that BOB would reach more and more people. So, to welcome us in today's occasion, may I call on GT Foundation Executive Director and Metrobank Foundation President, Mr. Aniceto Chito Sobrepeña. Colleagues, friends, members of the Filipino Chinese community, and everyone joining us in this virtual celebration, a prosperous new year to all of you. In the face of the resurgent pandemic, defiant hope and radical kindness become our response. While the threat of COVID-19 forces us indoors, we wouldn't let the joy of the Lunar New Year festivities be constrained. This is the optimism that fuels today's occasion as we mark our second virtual kickoff ceremony of our project, The Bags of Blessing. This program has stood the test of time as we now celebrate a decade of this gift-giving tradition. It signifies more than 10 years of sharing the Chinese New Year festivities, of handing out red bags of food packages to thousands of Filipino families nationwide. It is worth noting that behind this sustained legacy is the hard work of many hands and hearts of individuals united by the goal of providing food aid to our fellow men. This year of the water tiger, we forge ahead at a critical time of a pandemic response. From the selection of distribution sites, curating of goods to be placed inside the bags, and forming an alliance with credible institutions to identify beneficiaries, all leading towards the actual distribution. These steps were done with utmost cooperation and consideration as we seek to reach out to 10,000 families in 20 sites across the country. On our second year of conducting blogs of blessing amid the pandemic, we aim to contribute to food security in our communities hit hardest by the health emergency. This is an extension of Metro Bank Group's response in support of the government's feeding efforts. Further, we will still adopt the voucher system we introduced last year in adherence to health and safety protocols. GT Foundation and Metro Bank Foundation are privileged to work on this mission together with our principal partner, the Catholic Church, to the Caritas Philippines under the able guidance of its National Director, His Excellency Bishop Jose Colin Bagaforo. We are truly inspired to witness the tireless dedication of all the coordinators of Caritas Philippines who set examples of compassion for all our neighbors. We are grateful likewise for the support of the Philippine National Police which is instrumental in rolling out distribution activities 
in all the sites nationwide. They have been our staunch partner over the years. Maraming salamat po. Within our own institution, we commend the work of Metro Bank branches represented by Metro Bankers who put in the hours to support this endeavor. Their actions demonstrate our core value of heart for community. Indeed, what animates this gift-giving tradition, despite the many changes and uncertainties, is the display of solidarity and genuine drive to share joy. As we welcome a new year, we share in the fervent prayer of seeing circumstances turn for the better for everyone. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the officers and staff of Metrobank Foundation and GT Foundation, I wish everyone a safe Chinese New Year celebrations. Thank you for joining us in this morning's virtual event. Xinyan Hao. Thank you, Mr. Sobrepeña, for enlightening us about how GT Foundation celebrates Chinese New Year for the past decade. You know, Caleb, before working for Metrobank Foundation, I never celebrated the Chinese New Year. But thanks to, D to BOB, I am given the opportunity to not only appreciate the Chinese-Filipino culture, but also be part of this meaningful gift-giving event. Ikaw, Caleb, how do you celebrate your Chinese New Year? Ako personally, down being a Chinese-Filipino or what you call Chinoy, uh, talagang nagsa-celebrate kami ng Chinese New Year with my Chinese family and friends since uh, I was a kid. And right now, uh, we've been celebrating by eating Chinese food, watching the Dragon Dance and the Lion Dance. But the best experience is to bring my Filipino friends from the Filipino community to enjoy the Chinese New Year together with me. I mean, what's the best way, what other best experiences is to share my uh, culture, my roots, Chinese roots to these Filipino people. And of course, tayo, uh, na excited nga ako after the pandemic, nadalin kayo sa uh, Dinondo to experience the Chinese New Year. And of course, right now that we are in the midst of the pandemic, this is the best way for me as a Chinese to give back to the community by celebrating and by doing these bags of blessing. And of course, to our viewers and to our audience in the Facebook uh, platform and to us joining in the Zoom platform, kindly uh, chat uh, on the Zoom chat box and please type on the comment section below of Facebook on how you celebrate the Chinese New Year in the past and right now in the midst of the pandemic, how you celebrate it and in the future na mga hindi pa nakakapag-celebrate ng Chinese New Year, how do you plan uh, to celebrate your Chinese New Year in the future? To give us a message of prosperity, we call on GT Foundation President and Metrobank Foundation Trustee, Mr. Alfred V. T. Our partners from Caritas Philippines and the Philippine National Police, our partners from the 20 different cities for year 2022, from the local government of the city of Manila, from the city of Quezon City, from Pasay City, from Marikina City, from the city of Taguig, from Tarlac City, from the city of General Trias, from the city of Santa Rosa, the city of Naga, Legaspi City, from Iloilo City, Dumaguete City, Talisay City, Rojas City, Tacloban City, members from the local government of Davao City, Cagayan de Oro City, Cotabato City, General Santos City, and Ozamis City. The co our colleagues from the Metrobank Group and the GT Capital Holdings, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning and Xin Yen Hao. The Lunar New Year is a vibrant occasion that is steeped in tradition and merriment for us. As we usher another year, we are invigorated by the promise of a fresh start and renewed hope. However, the extended unease and disruptions brought about by the pandemic mean that our celebration this year will be different. The festivities might be downscaled 
but in their simplicity remains the essence of why we gather even virtually because we want to reinforce the value of giving. We at GT Foundation are inspired to keep the tradition of sharing alive through the bags of blessings. I'm delighted to share that this program has endured for more than a decade already. To date, 98,000 98, families across 195 sites nationwide have been assisted. This 2022, as we collectively wish for prosperity, GT Foundation and Metrobank Foundation will once again lead the nationwide distribution of food packages to 10,000 indigent families and sectors displaced by the pandemic and natural calamities. The late Metrobank Group Chairman and Founder Dr. George T. Xiaokian once said that this that his personal philosophy was to be able to give to charity since many are in need. To this day, such is the sentiment that propels bags of blessing. What began as a simple activity a decade ago has evolved into a yearly custom and that rallies our institutional partners, metro bankers, and volunteers to make a meaningful contribution to the lives of thousands. Now, as we are learning to live with the reality of a different normal brought by the pandemic, the need to aid the indigent becomes more urgent and our collective capacity to care is tested. With bags of blessing, individuals and organizations channel their energies into being present in the communities. Apart from giving, apart from gift giving, the distribution of food packages aims to augment the government's efforts to curb hunger and bring food to the table of average Filipino earners. Indeed, this time of constrained mobility can still remind us of the significance of community building. With this program, witnessing the jubilant at atmosphere that takes over is a shared experience that sustains us. As much as the food bags deliver joy to the families in different regions. The year of the water tiger signifies strength and dynamism in facing adversity. On behalf of Metrobank Group and GT Foundation, I express the hope that it will energize us during these challenging times. May all of us be empowered to sustain the gift giving legacy in our own ways. Again, a happy Chinese New Year, everyone. Please enjoy the celebration and keep safe. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alfred T. In his speech, Sir Alfred emphasized the characteristics of the tiger. With growth and strength, we will continue to uphold the BOB as a channel of blessings to communities, families, and individuals nationwide, despite the diversity in religion, culture, and social status. And then, speaking of the sharing of the bags of blessing to different communities, this year's program would be possible without the support we are receiving from our partner, e Caritas Philippines. They help us look for 20 sites nationwide despite the COVID challenges that we are facing. That's why at this point, you shall hear from our partners, the Caritas Philippines, through its National Director, Most Reverend Jose Colin M. Bagaforo, D.D. To the George T. Foundation and Metrobank Foundation families, Happy New Year! Thank you for keeping us within your extended family. For almost five years now, we have been bringing bags of blessings to the most vulnerable families together. Through our local counterparts, the Metrobank branches, Purple branches, and our diocesan social action centers. This program is very much in line with our Ale Kapwa's works of mercy or poverty reduction, especially that the country is still being plagued 
by the COVID-19 pandemic, and a significant number of our dioceses were devastated by a number of typhoons and other natural disasters. The bags of blessing is our beautiful expression of our collective purposiveness to ensure dignity to our most vulnerable families and communities. At Caritas Philippines, part of our institutional policy and direction is the safeguarding of rights and protection of the most marginalized communities. Thus, implementation procedures matter very much, no matter how small or vast our interventions. The needs, rights, and our own capacities of our partner communities and families take precedence over how we design our programs. It is our priority over our own requirements and templates. And we are thankful that the George T. Foundation shares the same view with us. On June 12, 2021, we launched our Ali Kapwa Legacy Stewardship Program which identifies seven priority interventions. Number one, educational assistance for academically challenged junior and senior high school students. Number two, capacity building for community schooling for out of school youths and dropouts. And the Caritas Philippines Academy. Number three, family feeding program. Number four, our ecology advocacies. Number five, humanitarian responses. Number six, good governance and justice and peace advocacies. And number seven, livelihoods and food security. The Ali Kappa Legacy Stewardship Program is funded locally by individuals, families, schools, business establishments, and corporations who share the same values and principles with us. Pagmamalasakit, pagkabahagi, at pag-aalay kapwa. They are the ones who firmly believe that we are always gifted to give, no matter how small or insignificant from our vantage point. This is also the reason why we readily accepted the partnership. The bugs of blessing is not just a program coming from the family of Mr. George T. It is a program not only of Metrobank, it is owned by its employees, its stakeholders, and everyone associated with Metrobank. This strong sense of community, ownership, and family are what brings us together. This is how we move forward to improve our service delivery to our communities, to the Filipino families. So again, we would like to thank you for sharing your kindness, generosity, and compassion to the Filipino people. Thank you for reaching out to Caritas Philippines and uh, the Social Action Network. And to everyone supporting this cause, thank you for contributing a brighter future for each and every Filipino. Na yung buntag kaninyong tanan, buntag ang salamat kaninyong tanan. Thank you, Bishop Pagdaforo. Indeed, we are blessed to have Caritas Philippines as our consistent partner over the years. Similar to their theme, Gifted to Give, BOB shall live up to its name of blessing and hopes to bless more people for the years to come. 
speaking of Caritas Philippines, um, we're not yet done with them as I'm excited to hear from their site coordinators who made sure that the blessings will be received by the people in need. As a matter of fact, most of them even had to respond to the call brought about by the Typhoon Odette last 2021 uh, in the Visayas and Mindanao region. Indeed, them, they embodied the call gifted to give. They deserve the floor because they're the most people who have worked hard behind the scenes during the preparation stage of our program. In addition, we have our very own Metro Bank Action Officers who will be coordinating with us. They shall also ensure that we will have a smooth implementation in the coming days. So, let us hear from them through this video. I am Amelie D. Palacio, branch head of Metro Bank Rojas. Box of Blessings is a gift-giving activity project of Metro Bank Foundation and GD Foundation during Chinese New Year. Dito, pinapakita natin ang Chinese tradition na magbibigay, which also means to deliver best wishes. As an action officer, I was tasked to turn over the vouchers, coordinate and checking of the goods and the suppliers, and also to account the beneficiaries. I am really honored and privileged to be part of this project for it gives me an opportunity to impart the values and gratefulness of giving forward. For 2022, I wish for more to be focused, positive in whatever I do and encounter in life, more blessings and good health from my family. I am Father Edmond Rinaldo, Social Action Director and Dice of Pasig. Ang Metrobank Foundation at ang GTF Foundation ang ating mission partners para matulungan ang ating mga kapatid na higit na nangailangan dito po sa Lisog Pasig, lalo na sa City of Taguig. Pinanyayahan ko po ang mga parish priests at ang mga parish coordinators at ang mga volunteers na sundin ang guidelines ng Metrobank Foundation at ng IATF para sa maayos na pagbigay ng mga ayuda sa ating mga kapatid na higit na nangailangan. At doon din ako para suportahan itong uh, programa ng uh, Metrobank Foundation at JT Foundation. Sa ngalan po ng Dayos of Pasig, kay isa ni Bishop Milo Yoversi Vergara, masaya po kami sa tulong na ibinabahagi ng ating uh, Metrobank Foundation at JT Foundation. Ito po ay malaking tulong sa ating mga kapatid na higit na nangilangan, lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Kaya kayo po ay naging instrumento ng Diyos na maipahayag, maipamalas ang kanyang pagmamahal, ang kanyang awa at biyaya sa kanyang bayan, lalo na dito sa Lesog Pasig. Kaya may po salamat sa Metro Bank Foundation at sa GT Foundation. Patuloy po namin kayong ipagdasal na maging successful kayo sa inyong gawain at sa pagtulong sa ating kapwa. God bless you po sa inyong lahat. Those are beautiful and inspiring testimonials. To our partners, thank you for your unwavering support. With the Bags of Blessings, we stand beside and reach out to those at the margins. Truly, the culture of sharing thrives amidst the uncertainties we face. Caleb, we have now come to one of the highlights of today's occasion, the ceremonial hand gesture. Then we have invited our guests and our partners to perform this ceremonial hand gesture. Sige lang, ipakita natin sa ating mga guests and audience how to do it. For men, it's your right fist under your left hand, like this. And for our women, it's your left fist under your right hand. So, dang, ganito, no? Gaya ng ginagawa natin. Uh, this is the sample gesture on how you do this. This ran after the first bags of blessing in 2011 when the late Dr. He made a courtesy call to then Chinese ambassador to the Philippines, Liu Chen Chao, to talk about his project to celebrate Chinese New Year purposefully and more meaningful. So again, to everyone who did it, Happy Chinese New Year and Xin Yan Hao! Thank you again to our esteemed guests and BOB principals for the unending support. 
and for always making sure that our fellow countrymen in need would receive these bags. Indeed, beyond the festivities of the Chinese New Year, this season has become an avenue for generosity and paying it forward to those in need. And um, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we would like to inform everyone that the 2022 Bags of Blessing will run nationwide in determined schedules with consideration to the community health and safety protocols. We hope that these bags will raise hope and provide a spark of joy to its recipients, to our fellow Filipinos whose livelihood were affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. So, to formally end, we invite everyone to join us in this prayer offering for the success and everyone's safety of the 2022 BOB. To lead into this prayer is Father Antonio Labiao, Executive Secretary, Caritas Philippines. Dear Lord, you are our fortress, you are our sanctuary, you are our treasure, and you are our leader and protector. We thank you for all the blessings you have given all of us. We thank you for the bag of blessings through the generosity of JT Foundation. We lift up to you our prayers for the success of the 2022 Bag of Blessings programs. We pray for the protection and the good health of all our volunteers and beneficiaries. We also pray for Dr. George SKT. May he continue to inspire us with his generosity and kindness in heaven he may continue to protect us and guide us and strengthen us in times of weakness, in times of, of need. Dear Lord, keep us safe always, especially in this time of pandemic. Protect us with the armor of your love. This we ask you in hope and in faith. And may Almighty God keep you safe. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for that wonderful prayer, Father Labiao. Uh, Dan, that sums up our morning ceremony. So on behalf of GT Foundation and Metro Bank Foundation, we thank you again for joining us this morning. Please continue to tune in to GT Foundation and Metro Bank Foundation's Facebook pages as we post updates of the 2022 BOB for the days to come. Again, I am Dang Red. And I'm Caleb Oi, your morning's masters of the kickoff ceremony. A happy Chinese New Year. Xin Yan Hao. Happy Chinese New Year to everyone! The 2022 Bags of Blessing officially begins.